basement of the South Beach Hotel, English traveler Jamie Woolley is preparing to take on the Americans at pool in their own backyard. Jamie is a hustler. You come over here, and like, shoes. These Americans, you see someone playing cards, and they want to play. And they want to play for money. So I do play for money. I think I've lost one $5 game since I got here. So now it's become more less of a hobby as a, a living. Most nights, Jamie can make around $80, but tonight he's going for the $100 top prize in a local tournament. So even, you know, bad players, rubbish players are coming up saying, I play at $10, it's a macho thing, you know, a lot of the Latinos, like, I beat one guy, some Latin guy, no, he beat me, $10. Give him his $10, and he said, I don't want your money. He just wanted to beat me, that was all it was. I never worked a day in my life. I just lay back and let the big beat leave me. I just lay back and let the big beat leave me. Three hours later, Jamie and his friends hit the last weekend pool bar. They've all been drinking hard in preparation. God bless the Queen. <laughs> there are 70 entrants, and Jamie's first opponent is a happy man. You in the game? Get out of it! But that soon changes when he's told to get on with the game. Hello. I'm not wearing those facts. I'm not bragging. I'm just stating the facts. But Jamie's confidence looks misplaced. And soon his opponent is first to the black ball and possible victory. But he misses and gives Jamie a chance. <laughs> Round two, and Jamie's still playing under par. Jamie's lost, still a ring to make it up. Too much of this. I lull him into a full sense of security. Despite the booze, he still gets through the round. Playing on 30% right now, so. I'm saying 50% and I'm unbeatable, and when I hit 100%, it's just beauty. Where's my Jack Daniels? I'm too drunk now, you know. In between each game, there's been a lengthy break, and all there is to do between each break, between each game, is to drink. Jamie. And over in the bar. Amazingly, even though he's seeing more balls than there are on the table, he manages to get through the rest of the round and makes it to the final. I'm going to have to get it together because obviously if I'm in the final, I'm going to be playing someone who's quite good. Jamie's not wrong. His opponent is Salvatore, a renowned local shark. Pressure shows on Salvatore, who fluffs a safety shot, and the hundred dollars is within Jamie's grasp. You've done it! You've done it, man! You've done it! One hundred dollars! Eat it, man! Eat it! Eat it! Eat it! Fucking roll it! Who wants a drink? Jan and Fran are old friends from the English coastal town.